How's it going guys? It's Tim here from Fishing with Tim. Um, I just want to do a little video for you today on the Elite FS and the HDS. This is the HDS Live, but basically the HDS Pro, if that's what you guys are going to be going with, which is coming out pretty quick here, um, should be pretty much exactly the same. Um, it's just going to be a quick little tutorial going over what the differences are mainly and how they may affect you fishing. I'm not going to go too deep into the details of what each one does and the specs and everything like that. Just what really um, might affect your fishing abilities and your choice on purchasing one. So let's get into a video of why you might want the FS and why you might want the HDS. Okay, so we have the HDS and the Elite FS here. Um, these are both 9-inch screens. Uh, these are by Lowrance. Uh, the Elite FS has been out for about two and a half, three years now. Um, it's a really great machine. This is a 9-inch one. And then we have the HDS Live here. Um, it's been out for a few more years. Um, another great machine, but basically the one I don't have here would be the Hook Reveal, which would be Lowrance's lower end. Elite would be your middle end and HDS would be your elite of for I guess the high end of the the units. So what we have here guys is we have the HDS 9. This is the 9 live. Um, what you might see here is we do have two sonar ports. What the two sonar ports are going to give you is you can plug in two transducers at the same time. Where this might come really handy is if you are running say your bass fishing you structure and then a regular transducer that just has 5200 or a chirp transducer. We have your power, we have two ethernets which you can plug radar into, um, Sirius satellite radio would plug into one if you wanted the Sirius radio. Um, if you want to connect two units together that's how you do that as well through your ethernet ports and then we have a NEMA 2000. The HDS also has NEMA 183 which comes off your power cord. With the Elite FS, we only have one sonar port, yet it is still a one kilowatt, so still good up for up to a kilowatt. We have one ethernet port, so your limitations here are if you decide that you're gonna be getting a radar and a second unit maybe at the back of your boat, you're gonna be limited to what you can do with one network port. So you're either gonna to have to get a network hub or you'll have to get something like a nine, which for your second unit, so you can hook it up into one to the other. We have your DEMA 2000 port and we have your power plug. Right now, as of now, the Elite FS cannot do NEMA 183. It is NEMA 2000 only. Where that may come into play is with some of your older VHF radios. If you don't have GPS built into them and they only have the ability to do NEMA 183, you do not have any way to connect it up to your GPS to be able to get your GPS coordinates into your VHF radio. Um, that has been an issue for some people. So. Basically, that's it for your networking capabilities. The HDS does have a little bit more networking with your basic um, networking on your Elite FS. The screen sizes are the same, 9-inch screens. The cases are pretty much the same. Um, Weight-wise, the Elite FS is a little lighter. Internally, you're going to have a single-core processor in your Elite FS with a dual-core processor in your HDS 9 which uh, will affect your performance pretty much in your speed of your unit. On the front, um, you do have more buttons which are programmed into the unit on your HDS9. We have your eight-way um, directional pointer, your pages button, your waypoints button, your enter button, your exit button, zoom in, zoom out, uh, uh, menu button and your power button. You also have your door here for your two micro sims um, cards and where you might want two micro sims is if you are doing any kind of um, sonar recording you can do that on one chip while still having your map chip in the other one. Um, the door, I do like the door. I find that it makes it a little more waterproof. They are both IPX7 waterproof rating which is about uh, 30 minutes three feet underwater and if you did want to see that I do have some pictures where I did have the Elite FS 7-inch um, screen in a fish tank for three days before it finally got water into it. Um, it was running up to three days and then it started glitching out and eventually gave up on us. But um, really, you know, Lorentz for waterproofing, that's just remarkable. Um, 
with the elite we do have your pages button, your waypoint button, zoom in, zoom out, and we do have a programmable button. Now, I really do like the programmable button. I wish they put it on the HDS9. On the HDS Pro, which is coming out pretty soon, they have added it to the 10, which is a really nice feature. Um, and then your power button here. Uh, your micro SD card goes under your LOW, um, up to 32 gigs again, but only a single card. So you are limited to either a map or sonar recording. If you were gonna do some recording, you could use the internal memory, but you're gonna run out really quick. So the best way to do that with your Elite would be to remove your card, do your sonar recording, and then add your card. The Elite does come with maps pre-installed in it. It is the CMAP Discover, as well as the HDS comes now with CMAPs um, built in as well, all right? So the other thing I really wanna show you guys, which, I think is really important is the screen quality of the two. So with the Elite FS, it's not a high definition screen um, and it doesn't have the Solar Max, which the HDS have the Solar Max and it's a high definition. Where that's really gonna come into play is sunlight and viewing angle. So if we take the Elite FS, I'm hoping you guys can see this, but when we turn it, your viewing angle is lost and in the sun, direct sunlight, you might find that you have some issues uh, looking at it as well. When we go to the HDS, you have a 180 degree viewing angle and you don't lose anything in the sunlight when you're using it. Um, I should have some pictures, um, me using it on the back of my boat with the active target for you uh, to show you that direct sunlight hasn't affected it at all. Um, basically, the best way to describe this guys is if you have an open boat um, where you are gonna let the sun in and so you don't have a hard top or a soft top or you're putting it at your back of the boat, the HDS is gonna be a better unit for you. You're gonna have better clarity if you're out in the sun. Um, with the Elite FS, it gives you good clarity if it is under cover and not in direct sunlight. But you know, if like I say, if you do have an open boat, maybe the HDS might be a better choice for you. But when you look at price points, you're looking at the Elite for, I believe it's $1,200 right now, and then $2,200 for the HDS. So you're looking at a $1,000 jump. Um, you are getting a few good benefits with the HDS. And if you are going to be networking, the HDS does do that a lot better than the Elite, although the Elite um, is fine doing basic uh, networking. As for autopilots, they both will run the autopilots. The HDS does have the new software, which allows it to run an Act 2 and an Act 3 computer for bigger boats. So if you do have boats that um, may have two engines or a big inboard, um, anything over 30 feet does usually require a bigger autopilot and the HDS does have the software to do that. The Elite um, boats under 30 feet where you can run a NAC 1 computer or the outboard. Um, hydraulic system by Lawrence, uh, the Elite will do it fine and all the software is in there for you. So other than that, um, they both can be flush mounted or bracket mounted. The Elite has four corners that peel off and that's how you would flush mount it there. The HDS has a bezel which is removable and that's how you would flush mount it there and then put your bezel back on. Other than that guys, I. I believe that these are two good units. You're not going to go wrong with either one. The biggest feature that I see most people running into would be the sun glare and the viewing angle with the Elite. Um, if you are going to be doing fishing like bass fishing and stuff like that where you might want to run two transducers on one unit, then the HDS would be the way to go. You could use the Elite FS and network them together two of them and then you could run one sonar in each which they would share that transducer and you'd be able to run it that way as well but i hope you like this video guys um, i hope i explained a little bit between the two units for you and that you might be comfortable using them or deciding which one you'd like to purchase um, again you're not going to go wrong with either one so if you like this video please uh like it subscribe and if you have any comments or there's other videos that you want to see me do uh, please leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you and hope to see you next time. Check out my next video. Thanks guys.